light. So you ever go outside because it's such a nice day out and look at the sky and have a terrifying massive hallucination so you avoid looking at it as much as you can and because you're so scared you pretty much have to spend all your time indoors and on your computer but you still don't know if it's a normal occurrence and you post it on reddit about it but no one's taking you seriously. Well today we're gonna be learning how to do a silly bossa nova. So what is a bossa nova? Bossa nova is a derivative of samba and jazz starting out in Brazil and later are getting popular in the everywhere the f is a samba then well basically I would tell you but the Wikipedia article is way longer than the bossa nova one so as yellow tard bot 5513 states samba has a celebratory vibe while bossa nova is like chill past its peak of popularity in the 60s in the US bossa nova devolved from this real genre of music into this derivative boring elevator music or something, I don't really know, I wasn't alive. But there was one country that didn't forget. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's Japan. Basically, the only reason I know Bossa Nova exists is because of this fucking thing. There are a few things here and there, actual music, that have heavy Bossa Nova influence, but I think the best of the bunch really come from this music that you're not even supposed to pay attention to. Bossa Nova falls into this weird category of music that's really nice to listen to, but extremely boring to play. If I'm actually, like, good at the drum, Drums, I'm not just gonna want to play. My theory is that video game companies found how easy this genre is to make digitally and took advantage. It's a genre you basically never hear on a daily basis. It's relaxing and repeatable and easy to make and mold to fit whatever game you're trying to make. Could also just be because bossa nova is way more prevalent in Japan, which is where most of the games with bossa nova come from in the first place, but whatever, none of this matters. Let's just do the thing, shall we? You might be thinking to yourself, Well, Closet, isn't this, uh, <laughs> Well, Closet, isn't this a silly bossa nova? What the fuck is a silly bossa nova? Well, the silly part is that I can't play any instruments very well, so it's gonna sound like shit either way, but, uh, Let's just do it, I guess. So if you've heard any bossa nova ever, you'll notice this one fucking pattern in every single song ever. So basically, you're just gonna want to get these groovy shits and... Uh, I don't know, just combine a bunch of... So to make your bossa nova chord progression, you're gonna want to take any regular old chord progression and slap some sevens and nines at the end of those chords. Congratulations, you now have your bossa nova chord progression. Then you can get into the instruments. Yes, in fact, there will be instruments. So what do you need? Well, clearly you need some keys. This sounds like fucking, sounds like I'm gonna have to play guitar. Low key, it's too slow. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Feels gross to do. It's like I'm committing a, like a horrible, horrific crime. Wait, was Bossa Nova the precursor to Jerk? And of course. <sighs> As I continued to work on the song, my initial enjoyment started to decline. You see, I had made Bossa Nova before, but you know, just for fun, as like a fun little way to waste time. But now, I had committed myself to wasting my time. My brain was beginning to deteriorate. Making this genre for long periods of time feels like you're getting your brain rolled like pizza dough. I closed up the project for a bit and got a good night's rest, hoping that the next day would be a bit less painful. It feels like I'm getting my brain unraveled. The song had been stuck in my head all night, resulting in a very low quality of sleep. Time became an elusive concept in which I nor anyone else seemed to exist. As I wrote out the final Meow Synth solo, I could feel my mind slowly rot to a chunky applesauce. Despite my horrendous state of mind, my hands and body fought their hardest to finish the task at hand, resulting in what felt like years of aimless clicking. <sighs> Uh, my skull feels like it's caving in, but the beat is pretty much finished. Now all we have to do is add some lovey-dovey lyrics. You, you know that bitch, Lo Lofi? She always, like, hops on these type tracks and like, sings about love and being in love and falling in love. So I'm gonna sing about my erectile dysfunction. Dude. I 
have erectile dysfunction. Yeah, he has erectile dysfunction. Okay, I can't, I can't do this. Dude, come on! Yeah, so the song's finished. I'm gonna just let the beat play out. Uh, I'll probably post this up on my second channel is like some copyright free bullshit. By the way, did you know that every closet song is free to use in online video? No way! That's right, since I'm not a f record company, I made the executive choice to make my music library content ID free, which means I won't steal your money. That's awesome! This includes not only this song here, but everything on my Spotify. Whoa! Anyways, here's the boss of thing. about it.